Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to create a microprofile application with Quarkus and then use CDK Cloud Development Kit for AWS and ship it uh, as, as AWS Lambda. So it should appear here, and we would like to test it. So let's start with it. So um, this is just a regular Quarkus project plugin, and I would like to call it just Lambda. Version doesn't matter, and yes, I would like to have some test code. So now I would also like to remove the uh, tests. We don't need them today. And now this should be a regular Quarkus project with a single JaxRS class called Greetings. So let's take a look on that. So there is the Greetings resource, which is a JaxRS microprofile resource. Let's make it application scoped. Application scoped. And uh, then to make it a little bit more realistic, what I would like to do is to inject another class, greeter.java. And uh, this is going to be application scoped as well. And now um, I, I would also like to use the microprofile config so to inject the configuration. And this is the config property, con config property. And then the name is going to be message. Uh, yeah, and the default value, default value is going to be um, hello uh, Quarkus as Lambda. And then this is the message and uh, the we also need a method. Let's call it greetings, greetings. And uh, forgot the brackets. Okay. Now we have it. Return this message. Okay. So, and uh, of course, we will have to use the greeter. So, use it or inject the greeter. Greeter injection. Greeter, greeter. And then, no, no, greeter. This greeter dot uh, greetings okay here we go and now if I switch to here and say maven clean package or only package is enough then it will it, it will generate the uh, regular Quarkus distribution Quarkus run inside Quarkus app I believe so we have Quarkus app and there is the Quarkus run so um, let's do something different uh, we would like to deploy it as a Lambda. So for this purpose, I will just, we don't need the rest assured. So um, I would like to always do it. I would like to add a Lambda extension, which will change the packaging format to Lambda function.zip. So let's do this. Um, this is Amazon uh, Lambda, and this is the REST because we are going to use the REST API gateway. Um, so if I repeat that, may even clean this time package, um, it should generate function.zip. So let's take a look. So now it created function.zip. And in the SAM uh, template, uh, there is a pointer to a function. This is the fully qualified name of the Quarkus function, which ships with the extension, and this will take the HTTP events generated by API Gateway at AWS and uh, call our JaxRS resource, if it works. So I will just copy it right now to the clipboard. Okay, so now go back, and now I'd like to use the CDK plane project and uh, call it just CDK. And this is what you saw earlier on my GitHub account. This is the streamlined version of the uh, what usually CDK generates. Okay, uh, there's an empty stack and uh, we, I would like to use this for deployment. Okay, function, and we need the Lambda function, and uh, yeah, builder, create this, and, um, and Quarkus, and now start, start with the hardest, which is to find the code. Code from asset, and the asset is in different folder, Lambda slash target, slash uh, was function.zip. Zip. Now an optional step 
this is the uh, function name, we'll have to give the lambda an, a nice name, otherwise it's going to be ugly. It will be going to be generated and be ugly then. Quarkus as lambda, here it is. And then uh, we also need some memory, um, 512 should be enough. And uh, it, 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 it would actually run fine with 256, uh, but the memory is bound to, um, to the CPU power. So we have a quarter of a CPU is the setting. And then uh, the handler, which we actually copied, this is very important. And of course, we have to tell AWS, we would like to have Java. So uh, this, and uh, we need Java 11, which is going to be Coretto. And I hope this is everything. So, um, and then this is the function. So almost done. What we also need is the API gateway. And this is going to be lambda rest api builder dot create this and then uh, gateway. Um, the IDs have to be unique, but only inside a stack, so uh, nothing can happen here. And the handler is actually the function we created right now, and uh, this should be enough. So now um, I can just use the script and don't ask, so it will just create everything right away. And um, and what happens in the script? It just performs clean package, CDK de deploy all stacks and don't ask any questions. Okay, so now we have to be a patient. This uh, The first deployment can take even few minutes because uh, the API gateway is also deployed, which again, takes a little bit longer than a plain Lambda. So it took a few minutes. So let's see whether the Lambda is available. Here it is. And um, so what we see here this is unusual Lambda, so we have here the, uh, or unusual, it's a usual Lambda, but it ships with API Gateway here, which will invoke the Lambda. So if we go to the API Gateway, uh, we see this is the endpoint. So if I call the endpoint, it should um, give us the Quarkus page, and this is the initial call in Lambda, this is the cold start. And if I go here and say, I would like to have the hello, now it should be faster and should be significantly faster. And uh, yeah, this was a from scratch deployment of AWS Lambda or of a micro profile application running on Quarkus as AWS Lambda using just Java and CDK.